Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a really exciting video. This is kind of an enormous LV haul. Uh, well, it's enormous for me. It may not be enormous for other people, but um, I generally don't buy lots of expensive things at once. I generally try and stagger things um, just because I like to consider each purchase and I'm not really much of an impulse luxury purchase. I, I tend to kind of deliberate of my bags quite a bit. Ooh, things are falling all over the place. Um, I tend to kind of think about my purchases quite a bit when they're bigger ones and so which is why I don't really buy a load of things at once I guess. Um, but this is kind of an exception. Um, I did kind of impulse buy one bag and then that kind of spiralled into getting things which I'd had my eye on for a while and um, it kind of accumulated in this massive pile. Right here it's enormous, I got five items. Um, yeah, so I'm really really excited, I'm going to show you all what I got and yeah, I hope that you enjoy this video. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go from um, the top and then kind of work my way down. That does mean that the bag is going to be at the bottom. Um, but yeah, I just think that's going to be the easiest way for me to do it in terms of unpacking everything. Uh, I have all the receipts here. I bought um, two items at once and then the rest I bought separately. Uh, I got one of the items in uh, my local Louis Vuitton store and the rest I bought online. I am someone who kind of generally prefers to do online shopping. Not always, but I find that Louis Vuitton's customer service can be a little bit hit and miss, um, so I like to kind of hedge my bets and, and buy online. I have heard stories that, you know, um, it's kind of leftover stock or customer returns online, but I've bought online a few times, I've never had any issues. Um, so yeah, I'm always happy to buy online and I just find it really convenient. I just, you know, shop online and they deliver it right to my door and I get to try it on in the luxury of my own home. Um, I just like it. I think it's really a very convenient and a luxurious experience whereas I find kind of sometimes shopping in the stores like a little bit stressful with them like watching over you and kind of waiting for you to make a decision like that's not fun. So yeah one thing uh, well, one thing had to be bought in store um, because it was sold out online and I actually had the biggest trouble trying to track it down um, but the rest of the items I did buy online. So my first item is in this box and this is the smallest one out of them all and I mean I'm not going to go through the packaging every time because it's kind of standard but it is just the brown box um, with the drawer and the little tie um, and this kind of little Louis Vuitton tag right here. And in this one, we have, I mean, you have the um, the little care guide, and this is the monogram um, on prompt. I think that's how you say it. I've never really been sure, and I've never actually asked, um, but the care guide that you get with all of them. And in here, there is this beautiful zippy wallet. I have been wanting one of these for the longest time. I only have um, one other Louis Vuitton wallet. Actually, I only have one other wallet. I'm not really someone who buys tons of wallets to match every bag and swaps them out. I am way too lazy for that. Like, I just, I can't even fathom having to change my wallet out all the time. Like, I really struggle changing my bags out, so I'm not someone who has the, the time or the patience to do that. Um, but I did want a smaller wallet for just a really long time because I do have quite a few smaller bags and the wallet I have is the Insolite wallet. I post a pic on my Instagram if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love that wallet and I really wanted a smaller wallet that I could kind of use in my smaller bags. And I was going, I was debating about the colour. I knew I wanted to get this style. I think this kind of leather from Louis Vuitton is really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, I just, I wasn't sure about the colour and nothing really kind of pushed me over the edge. I was debating the black for a little while, um, but again, I wasn't sure about it. And then this colour came out, which is the Dahlia colour. And I just think it's the prettiest colour. I'm a sucker for pink anyway. And this is just a really nice kind of rich, warm pink. And I kind of fell in love with it. So I knew kind of this was the one I'd been waiting for. Um, in terms of the actual piece itself, it has a pretty long... Um, keychain thing I guess um, and I, I do wonder if that's going to get in the way but I guess it does make the, the zipper easier to get hold of and I um, mean you can see it's just the same on both sides and just the beautiful embossed LV logo and you know you can see it, it's kind of carried around because it's upside down on one side I just I love details like that I think it's so so pretty I love the the gold against the pink again really really lovely and inside just 
just enough room I think like there isn't tons of room but just enough to fit the essentials you have one six card pocket oh well I guess maybe seven car pockets I think six actually and then maybe you can use this for change or other things uh, it just comes with the little leather tag as well and really I just think it's just such a really pretty color and just a really nice kind of functional functional piece um, so yeah I, I really really love it the perfect addition I think and the perfect complement um, to my other wallet which might get a bit of a rest now that I finally have this um, and this one was uh, £350 I believe and I believe the Dahlia is a limited colour so if you are interested in getting this colour then I would do that sooner rather than later. My next piece is going to be, well one of these, I have two uh, the same size and they are very similar pieces, they're just different patterns and I was opening it upside down, um, it just comes in the regular box and you have the little care guide and this is Collection Leopard from Stephen Sprouse so it probably gives you an indicator of what it is but it comes in its own baby dust bag which I thought was very sweet and inside is just the famous leopard print bandeau with the Louis Vuitton sign right there in I guess a pinky purple colour and I just think this is so so chic. I love leopard print anyway and I think leopard print and Louis Vuitton is kind of a match made in heaven. I've never really owned anything like this from Louis Vuitton before um, so yeah I'm super excited to get this and also just I feel like for the price I mean it is expensive but it is silk and I feel like for Louis Vuitton they really weren't badly priced. I think they were either 90 or 95 pounds each uh, and I just think this is so versatile, you know, you can wear it with an outfit to dress up like a, a black or a white tee um, or use it to decorate a bag, which I'm actually planning to do. I bought this to go with the bag that I bought. Um, so yeah, I'm just really, really excited about it. I just think, oh, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And it's just so silky and you can just tell beautifully made. So love this. The other scarf that I bought, I don't know if scarf is the right term, scarf, bandeau, I think they're called bandeau on the website. The other bandeau that I bought um, is pretty different in style, but I saw this in uh, the Birmingham store when I went to, to visit recently, and I just loved it. I kept kind of stroking it, I think the security guards thought I was kind of odd, um, but I just loved it. So when I ordered that one, I was like, oh, I might as well just order this one as well since I love it so much. Um, and it's... I want to say it's locks and trunks but I don't think it is, or maybe it is, I don't, does it say on the care guide? Oh I don't think this one has a care guide. Um, I'm not sure what collection this is from, I have something from the, the locks and trunks collection but it looks quite different to this so I'm not sure um, what this is but I do love it, um, I don't know, I don't know whether you'll be able to see the detail but it just has pictures of the classic Louis Vuitton luggage in this beautiful kind of grey and pink um, colour scheme and I just think it's so so lovely it's really just beautifully made and I just think it's such a, a lovely whimsical print and I love the colour colourway um I love grey and pink anyway so I just thought this was really lovely and just a really kind of nice girly fun piece from Louis Vuitton so yeah, I went ahead and ordered this as well and I couldn't be happier with it. I think it's really, really lovely. My next piece, I think it's probably the one I'm most excited about out of everything that I bought. You won't know this about me, but I am a complete stationary fiend. I absolutely love stationary and just, yeah, stationary, just stationary general. Like, I like pens, I like pencil cases, I like notebooks. Um, I don't know why, when I was a kid, I used to spend all of my money, like literally all of my money on um, just, stationery when my parents would go to the grocery store I would kind of go to the stationery section and pick out what I was going to buy that week and then come home with it. It was really odd now that I think about it but um yeah that's kind of carried through to adult life except on a slightly more expensive scale I guess because now it's been upgraded to Louis Vuitton so yeah I'm really excited about this. I did Oh, I kind of resisted this one for a while just because it was such an extortionate price for what it is um, but I obviously didn't succeed in resisting because here it is um, but yeah I just kind of gave in because I've wanted it for so long um, ooh, and I'm just going to show you guys oh, I'm so excited um, it's the large planner in the monogram oh my goodness I've been wanting this for so long I think I mentioned in my last video in the uh, what's in my bag GST 
um, that I had, well actually I think I showed you my Smithson Agenda which is the, the hot pink one and I absolutely loved it but well I, I do still love it but it's just too small for my needs and so I was looking at these, I saw them on, oh, I think I saw it on it was Jen G, um, who has an amazing YouTube, you should check her out. Um, but she has the smaller version of this and she decorated it with the On Your Hind March stickers, uh, which I absolutely loved. And so I was just totally copied her and I managed to get my hands on the stickers and then I was just kind of missing the agenda. I opted for the large size just because I am someone that likes to use my agenda for everything. So I'll use it for note taking, for to-do lists, um, not just kind of diary appointments. Um, so I think this size is absolutely perfect. And it's just the monogram all the way across and you open it up and I mean you know it's an agenda and an empty one at that so it's it's pretty plain looking but you have lots of pockets which I really like um I just like compartments I think they're very useful when it comes to kind of planning and just life sorting um you also have the pen holder right there and you just have the six ring biters in this beautiful gold as well um i do have uh, some agenda refills for it i didn't opt for the louis vuitton ones um just because ooh, um just because i think 60 or 65 pounds how much it is is too much money to pay for paper so i just went ahead and i got the filofax ones um which were, i think were like 10 pounds which much more reasonable and they do fit perfectly um so i got the a5 ones and uh, the, i already checked and they just work like a dream in here so i think i'm going to do a separate video though on this agenda and just kind of show you how i'm going to organize this and everything i mean i'm not one of those kind of crazy planner people i mean i know that's like a, a huge trend on youtube at the moment with the stickers and the decorating i think it looks amazing but i do not have the time or the patience to do that so i'm just kind of going to show you you know how i i generally organize um and how i decorate it as well because i do have my stickers so i'm really excited about that and um, they did offer to hot stamp it for me which is really nice but i kind of well I did climb because I feel like every time I permanently mark something I regret it so even though I'm gonna do the stickers I just wasn't sure at the time um, but she was nice enough to say that any time I wanted to take it back I could get it hot stamped with my initials so um, I might still do that I'm not sure but yeah really really excited about this one so the very last piece is in this big box and it is a bag and this was kind of an impulse purchase um, in the sense that it wasn't something that I'd had my eye on for a really long time, but when I saw it, I kind of couldn't stop noticing it. And then it was everywhere, and I, I just had to have it pretty much. Um, it's not usually something... That, well, I didn't look at it and go, oh my god, that's totally my style. But the more I saw it worn, the more I liked the fact that it seemed really versatile and just very kind of a good all-rounder bag. Here it is in its dust bag. And... It's not the biggest size, um, but I, I like that about it. I, I already have quite a few quite large bags. Um, and so I thought this was kind of a perfect next choice for me. It is the Pochette Matisse, I think that's how you say it. And I am kind of in love with her. I just think it's a great all-rounder and just really perfectly formed. Small but perfectly formed. I think that's a good way of describing it. Um, it has the, the classic monogram, so I mean it's quite lightweight, which again I like about it. It just has the pocket on the back, the zipper pocket, and I mean it's kind of details like this which make me really love it in terms of just functionality. I think it's just a very, very functional bag. It has the beautiful Vachetta strip right here, the little top handle. Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna use that, but I mean, I think it's a nice feature. I think it does add to the bag. Um, you have the little Vachetta right there as well. Um, I think that's how you say Vachetta. I have heard people say Vachetta, but I'm not sure. I feel like it's Vachetta. I'm not sure. Leave me a comment below if you do know. Um, and yeah, you just kind of squeeze the little knobs. I don't know how you say those. Um, together and then it, it pops open. And inside you'll see, I mean, there's the, the strap right there. And I mean, there's a fair bit of space in there. Um, it just has this really kind of nice... I don't think it's suede. I think it's kind of like fabric lining. Um, and you have three good sized pockets there. The, the back one is a little bit smaller, um, but you can just fit. I mean, I think that's gonna hold quite a bit. I am gonna experiment with it later to see how much it can fit. But um, 
yeah, I think this is going to be a really good bag for just, you know, for, for running errands on weekends or, or going shopping or any time that you're going to need kind of your hands free. I think this would also be really good for, for new mums or not necessarily new mums, just mums in general. Um, yeah, just anyone who likes kind of functionality in their bags, I think this would be really good for. I do have other crossbody bags, you know, my my Chanel wallet on a chain and a Chanel mini. Um, but you really can't fit a whole lot in those. I like how much, well, I think you'll be able to fit in. I haven't tried yet, but I think, you know, this could hold a fair bit, which which I like. And, you know, I just like kind of the little details like this, this interesting lock right here, if I can close it again. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it has the folds here, which I think are just, I just think these are nice details. I just really like it. Um, I'm gonna put the straps on so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, I hadn't actually really looked at this properly when I was considering it. I just looked at loads of, um, loads of Google images and, and obviously the purse form and things like that. And just everyone seems to have really good things to say about the bag, which I think is a sign of a good bag. <laughs> so yeah, and I like how it's, the strap is adjustable as well. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can model it. You probably won't be able to get that good of a view, but... Hopefully it'll give you an idea of what this looks like on. Yeah, just very kind of easy going, not a dressy bag at all, but I feel like I have enough dressy bags to last me a lifetime. So I'm absolutely loving this. Um, I will probably update my blog um, with some more photos and different angles of it. Um, and I may do another video on kind of how I pack it or what can fit in it. Um, but yeah, currently I am, very much in love with it and I'm just super excited to use her. So that's it for this video you guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. As always please do leave me a comment uh, below if you do have any questions or comments in general and please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe as well. I will be posting more photos I think um, of my little haul and kind of individual item snapshots on my blog um, so I will leave the link to my blog below as well if you want to check that out. And I think that's it. I think I've talked enough, so I will leave you to it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.